Hi, my name is Jessica with the channel Dolores Serenity. Today on Traversing History, we are traveling to Amherst, New York, near Buffalo, and we are talking about Ellicott Island. Ellicott Island used to be not an island. Used to be not an island. It was cut for the Erie Canal, and Ellicott Island now is a bark park, a dog park, and it's actually a gorgeous park. Even if it wasn't a dog park right now, it would be an amazing place for picnics. It has so many beautiful shelters with picnic tables, and it's got a great atmosphere. It's, it's very shady, <laughs> and not in a bad way. Like shady, like the sun won't touch you shady. <laughs> not like, you know, cricket. <laughs> Because it's between two waterways, the water makes the island nice and cool. So with the shade and the waterways, we went there on like an 80 to 90 degree day and we were not hot at all. It was, it's a very nice place. If you've got dogs and you live near Buffalo, I highly recommend checking out Alicot Island Bark Park because it is, it's gorgeous. We saw some people paddling on the river in kayaks. I don't know if you could swim there, but Plenty of dogs are swimming in that creek, so check it out. I didn't see any bathrooms on Ellicott Island. It's not to say that there weren't any there. I think there's another building on that island that we didn't really explore because it seemed like there was a lot of people there and with COVID and all that fun things with social stuff. I really didn't want to go and like disturb somebody's picnic. So, um, there might be bathrooms in the park, not sure. There's also nice little playgrounds. There was a swing set there that my son played on and he really begged to go on the sled and everything, but we were in a hurry to leave. But there's, you know, a nice little playground on the island for kids. Um, um, the only thing is if you're scared of dogs or you don't get along with dogs or just, you don't want dogs near you, I don't recommend the place. It's gorgeous, it really is, and <laughs> I will say, I had, I will say maybe six dogs brush past me completely soaking wet, and it was cool. I'm, I'm cool with dogs, but it was, um, like I said, if you're not a big fan of dogs, it's probably not the place for you, so this video might be perfect. You know, you can visit without actually visiting. And let's go exploring. Ellicott Creek is a stream in western New York. It's a tributary of Tonawanda Creek, which in turn flows into the Niagara River. The creek originates in the southwest corner of the Genesee County, just northeast of Darien Lake State Park. Ellicott Creek is named after Joseph Ellicott, the important agent of the Holland Land Company. Ellicott played a significant role in opening western New York up for settlement after the Iroquois ceded their claims in the 1780s. More significantly, in the Big Tree Treaty with the Seneca Nation, Ellicott surveyed most of Holland Purchase into townships and saleable land parcels. Ellicott Island, also known as Three Mile Island or the Island at Three Mile Bend, was created in 1918 when they cut a new path for the Erie Canal to make it more navigable to barge traffic. New York State gave the land to Erie County for their park system in the 1920s on the condition that a playground be put there. The old boathouse building is one of the many structures built in the county park during the 1930s as part of the Works Progress Act, designed to put men back to work after the Depression. In addition to the boathouse, they also built a shelter house on the Ellicott Island, and the shelter house was used for restrooms and concessions. And while the boathouse was used originally for kayak and canoe rentals, you can find pictures of this building and of the shelter house on livingnewdeal.org. It appears that the county stopped renting boats sometime in the 1950s, as newspapers in the early 60s report that it was no longer in use when the county gave the Niagara Frontier Rowing Club permission to use the boathouse as their headquarters. The rowing club also used another building on the other side of the island that is no longer standing for storing their racing shells. It might have been an old maintenance building of some sort, but otherwise, 
the person who wrote this article has been unable to find any pictures of that building or any historical accounts of when it was built or demolished, but supposedly the foundation for that building still exists. The rowing club continued to use the park building until 1970, when nine of their 11 racing shells and oars were destroyed by vandals. Due to the extreme cost of replacing their equipment, which was originally obtained through donations and fundraising, it appears that they decided to just fold at that point. No newspaper records of the rowing club exist beyond this point. Once the rowing club left, the park fell into neglect, and it was frequently vandalized from the 70s on through the early 90s. It was during this time period, in 1977, that the roof of the boathouse was burned down. A picture of this fire can be seen in the About section on the Ellicott Creek Volunteer Fire Department's webpage. In January 2014, Erie County granted Friends of Ellicott Incorporated a charter to operate Ellicott Island as a dog park. Friends of Ellicott relies on volunteers and donations from the community to provide seasonal cleanups, carry the insurance to run it as a dog park, and to organize additional projects for the betterment of the park. In 2016, an art program from Buffalo State College was granted permission to paint murals on the inside of the castle, which complement the archways of the structure. Each section focused on a theme related to the natural element of the park, including the dogs, in addition to historical times, places, and faces relevant to the area. Buffalo State College's website has a picture of the murals that was published in an article posted on November 15, 2016. Currently, Friends of Ellicott Incorporated is in the progress of obtaining funding to stabilize an area on the island that has suffered erosion from use and water runoff. Once this project is completed, there are other areas of the park that they would like to assist in preserving. Ellicott Island is run by Friends of Ellicott and they seem to do a lot of work for the park and they run events and they gather money through donations to help the island and help with erosion and help with all that stuff so if you want to donate to them I am going to link their stuff below and yeah if you want to support this wonderful area please look into it and it's awesome. There's a volunteer fire department that's local to Ellicott Island and they have a picture of the boathouse with its roof on fire and it's also very copywritten <laughs> and I'm not looking for copyright strikes so I'm also going to put a link below to their site and you can scroll through and you can find that picture. It's pretty interesting. It's in black and white and yeah, it shows the firemen trying to put out the fire and, you know, do their job. <laughs> Linked below, I also have some of the references that I got the information for the history of the island from. If you like dogs, it is dog heaven. Helicon Island is dog heaven. It's, um, nobody has their pets on leashes. It's an island. They really, you know, what are they going to do? Swim off the island? <laughs> Um, so the dogs are running around and they're playing with other dogs and dogs, 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 and they, they swim, they have sticks, and it just, it seems like a ton of fun for them. But like I said, if you're scared of dogs, not recommended for this place. <laughs> okay, there is one more thing. When we went, we went during the day and then that night we got home and we checked my son the next day. He had a tick in his arm. It was a dog tick, I think. We looked at the images and we think it was a dog tick. And we think it might have come from there. It's not confirmed, but it was the only like wilderness we vis visited. Otherwise, we were in the car because we were traveling back from Buffalo to Norwich. And yeah, so if you go there, just, just do a quick tick check. And there's lots of dogs, so I mean, probably why if there are ticks there, you know, they're there for the dogs and it happen to be on my son. So just double check. I don't know if that's where it came from, but just a word of warning. Thank you for journeying with me today. I hope you had fun. And if you enjoy traversing history, like, subscribe, comment where you think um, would be an interesting place to go visit and bring you along for the ride. 
Hope you enjoyed today's episode. See you next time. Uh, there's also a picture that I would have loved to... I would have loved to add a picture to this video. It is the picture of the boathouse with its roof on fire. And that is through the volunteer fire department. I don't remember who the volunteer fire department is. Linked below is also some of the... Went over the Scared of Dogs, went over the intro, went over the outro, went over the ticks. Um, what else was there? <sighs> oh, not exactly. I haven't actually talked to any of them. <laughs> anything else I want to tell you guys. This is what happens when I don't script it and I'd rather just have it off the cuff. <laughs> hmm.